morning mushroom fam it's Gary with fresh from the farm fungi and today I wanted to talk about a really important topic in mushroom farming and it's what to do with the spent mushroom substrate blocks so for the past four years I've been composting these blocks and it creates a really rich soil that is pretty apparent in our garden here so there's a few different methods for composting. You can either create a huge pile and let the internal core kind of break down that mycelium and the rest of the remaining substrates, or what I found to be a really powerful tool in mushroom farming are these nice composting bins. So this one here we've had for four years now and I highly recommend it. Um, this week is Amazon Prime Week so they're $15 off right now if you, if you order one today. Um, but some features of this particular uh, compost bin is that it has these nice wheels so you can roll it around your property. It fits about 12 to 15 uh, five pound blocks and it will compost them in about three weeks. So you wanna get one that rotates so that you can speed up the composting process. And this one, you know, I go through and I'll do my, uh, my, my yard scraps, our food scraps from the kitchen. Anything that's compostable will just come into this airtight tube. Um, but you can see this really rich soil, which this is the fuel of our garden. And I like the black color ones because they heat up really nice in the sun and it will speed up the breaking down of all of that mushroom substrate so I'll go through here and kind of just break, break apart my blocks and add it to the compost bin and you can even just throw them in whole, but this just helps to speed up the process. And it's a beautiful, nutritious source of nitrogen for all our lovely flowers, like these sunflowers. But basically, I'll put it in there, give it a couple rotations, and then when I'm ready to do my gardening you can just pull it out and wheel it around the yard and this is probably one of my favorite tools in mushroom farming and gardening in general so if you guys are interested um, I can give you a tour of our beautiful garden so starting over here with our bird feeder, we've got our perennial hops. Um, these are just starting to bud out. We've got some beautiful gladiolas that are just starting to flower here. And you can see that beautiful, nutritious compost. And then these are some goji berries. Got some zinnias some clematis, these beautiful trumpet vines that are just starting to flower. Look at these little buds on these. Here's some beautiful trumpet vines. And then we've got some Virginia creepers down there. And one of my favorite parts of the garden is this beautiful mulch that I inoculated with some King's Trefaria spawn earlier in the season. And you can see the mycelium is starting to take hold on this scrub oak mulch. So we should be getting some really nice flushes of King's Trefaria. Got our Rosa Sharon bush over here getting some drip lines, tomatoes, 
Got some hemp. Couple more gladiolas that are just starting to bloom. Our giant 10 foot sunflower. And you can see that I'm working my way down along these roses where I will be adding more mulch and mushroom compost to the perimeter as we move down. We've got some really beautiful roses that are just starting to bloom. And then I planted some bluefoot mushrooms in there that are just kind of incubating. And then this is our wild section. We've got some butterfly bushes, some different types of mint and salvia. There's a little baby aspen tree that I'm trying to bring back. And a bunch of carrots that I just let go for the rabbits. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that tour of our yard. Until next time, much love.